As threats of climate change escalate, there's an urgency to maximize collective impact to avert bigger losses, efforts to achieve the sustainable development goals and transform the lives of vulnerable farmers and consumers. Reduce, reuse, recycle, rice initiative for climate smart agriculture is a new project spearheaded in the countries of Uganda and Kenya by Kilimo Trust Organization. Take a look. Rice growing in Uganda is the victim of climate change, with many farmers resorting to swamps for its survival. Recently, the President of Uganda issued a directive to stop rice cultivators from using swamps, a thing which is worrying many farmers made this climate change. According to a country director, Klimo Trust Uganda, Rachel Ajambo, a new project codenamed Reduce, Reuse, Recycle Rice Initiative for Climate Smart Agriculture has been launched to help smallholder rice farmers adopt upland rice varieties, practice regenerative agriculture for sustainable environment protection. This Climate Smart Agriculture program is to build resilience and also look at what new technologies and the climate uh, adaptation practices can farmers put in place uh, to be able to, to, to mitigate the effects of climate change on their livelihoods, on household food security and also on nutrition security. Klima Trust has partnered with NARO to provide the necessary research into the drought-tolerant upland rice varieties for Uganda. And uh, we have developed pro research protocols that, uh, that we, are, we, we are looking at and also implementing with smallholder farmers in order to come up with recommendations and policy uh, recommendations that can be uptaken uh, to, to, to especially enable or contribute to mitigation uh, of climate change effects at household level. The speaker to the district, Betty Andera, while officiating on the district upland farmers day, expressed dismay over the poor land fragmentation practices in the region. Land fragmentation is a hampering mechanization in farming. Because when the land has been cut into small, small pieces, you can't use a truck. Unfortunately, we shall never talk about modernization of, of agriculture without talking about mechanization. If our farmers want to improve on production and productivity, they must embrace the use of mechanization. They must use tractors for plowing the land. Andera, who was flanked by Tororo District Production and Marketing Office, Patrick Okwari, says that the project has come timely to address the increase in poverty and hopelessness of her people. That wetland, unless we conserve it, this rate of climatic change will continue, becoming even more devastating. So as they get out of the wetland, or as they st stop using, going deep inside the wetland, this alternative high technology rice production provides a better option. The government is not stopping farmers from growing rice. They only want us to grow rice in a better way. The head of the maize and rice research at the National Agriculture Research Organization, Dr. Jimmy Lamo, says that his team has been able to come up with the rice varieties to boost farmers' income. And we realize that despite varieties being available, farmers still continue getting less income for, for the rice that they grow. And because of that, we develop varieties that are aromatic because they pay better to a farmer. And even to a trader, they get bigger profit margin. The project also championed in Kenya will also address a value addition for rice and neighbor rice farmers adopt regenerative agriculture practices for agriculture production. Mutoni Hilda and Setumba Douglas, UBC.